This is a little vlog about setting up a family legal system, but first you have to know it's a little metaphor about the desert. You know, to me, the interesting thing about a desert is not its profusion of beauty, but its sparsity of beauty, its spare singular beauty. So that instead of focusing on the forest, on the rainforest, on the multiplicity of beauty, you focus on one plant, you focus on one tree. I remember as a college student reading a book called Desert Solitaire. And it was by Edward Abbey who had grown up in the east among the deciduous forests and then he'd spent time in the northwest in the rainforests. And then he found himself in Utah and he was drawn to the desert by the sparsity of it, by the simplicity of the desert. So when you think about a comparison of a rainforest and a desert, it occurred to us today that it's very similar to the way we did family laws. Oh yeah, we were trying to set up a family legal system. And here, let me just give you a little background and then you tell about our crazy experience. But we were. We were always thinking about discipline. Remember in the early days, how do we discipline our kids? What discipline well, method will work best? How can you not think best? about it? They're so out of discipline, control. Discipline, discipline. And it occurred to us one day, or someone said this to us, I don't know, but we, we thought, you know, if we had a real family legal system, we wouldn't be thinking so much about discipline. We'd, we'd have a system, we'd have laws, and, and there'd be consequences with those laws, and we wouldn't have to be figuring it out as we went along. So we set out to set up a family legal system. We actually started when our first two little girls were two and three, if you can imagine that. In a family meeting, we said nominations are now open for family laws. And, and they were old enough to talk. We of course, figured they I mean, were... the three-year-old, of course, said, I know, I know, never hit other little girls. We said, oh, of course that should be a family law. So I, I was the scribe, I wrote it down. Law number one, never hit other little girls. And then number two, the two-year-old, never plug in plugs because we'd caught her the night before going with a fork toward an outlet. You know, and it was just on her mind. So, of course, we put that to... That was number two. Well, we just kept adding and adding to make a long story short. Five years later... Oh, our, by the way, then every week they'd come, oh, I got another family law. Well, that's what I'm saying yeah. by adding, adding. And something happened every week. Oh, I know we need a new family law for that. Anyway... Five years later, um, we our eight-year-old came to me and said, Mom, we have 33 family laws. In the whole Bible, there's only 10 commandments. We have to simplify this. So we said, you know, touche, you're absolutely right. We simplified it down to it five was like, It was laws. like the rainforest. We had way too many things growing. We had growing. way too many. And we got it down to, to the, the desert. desert. Five <laughs> laws. And they all agreed on what they should be. And they agreed on what the 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 consequences should be if they broke that law? That's the amazing thing. If you ask kids to help you set up family laws and they're in on it and then you ask them what the punishment should be if they break them, they, they never think they're going to break one. Oh, no. So they... Put us in our room for two days with only bread and water. They, no, no. When that actually happens, you're not going to want to do that. But we did come up with some reasonable um, consequences, I think, that everybody agreed on. So, and you know, the problem was, Linda, if you remember... Even when we got it down to five, some of our kids, I won't name names, still were not able to remember <laughs> what they were. All of them. So remember we made up a family song. Oh, I do. Which was, we'd start off every family meeting singing this family song together to sort of force them to remember. You want to sing it? Can you still remember? Oh I bet my you gosh. Can remember well, it. of course we can remember it, but you have to know that I'm a music <laughs> major, so it was really, really very sophisticated. <laughs> yeah, very. <laughs> lots of counter harmonies right, and right. syncopation and right. crescendos. Um, something that every child could remember, so I guess we'll do it. Huh? All right, let's sing it. Peace, peace respect, re asking, asking order, order obedience. obedience. Peace, respect, asking, asking order, obedience. Peace, peace respect, respect, asking, order, obedience. Peace, these are our family laws. Oh, wasn't that Peace, spectacular? Peace, respect, order, asking, and obedience. We decided they had to only be one word long and had to have a very simple 
punishment connected to them that everyone agreed to so we didn't have to make it up as we went along. We were tired of being the judge and the jury and the, the Gestapo all at once. We wanted a system. We did. And, of course, your family laws would be different according to how old your children are, I think. There might be some laws about uh, technology, some laws about curfews and so on. And so it kind of changed. But keep it simple. Just couple keep of it e down. A couple of examples. The, uh, the consequence for breaking the law of peace was to go sit together, the two kids who had been fighting, on the repenting bench, which was sort of like a double timeout. And the only way to get off was to repent to the other kid, say, I'm sorry, I'll never do it again. And, and then you could leave the bench. The, the consequence for asking was probably the simplest one of all. Oh, um, the consequence for that is if we don't know where you are, if you haven't asked us and we don't know where you are, you can't go the next time. And that really worked because they'd think, oh, my gosh, maybe the next time will be something well, important. When, I better ask. When we could be consistent. Sometimes you forget about that. So. Don't admit anything on I, these I videos, am. Linda. Don't admit truth. anything. I'm as far as the these truth. viewers know, we're perfect. <laughs> 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 no, you get the point, though. Um, it is a lot like the desert. If, you, if you're out on the desert and you can see one cactus and one juniper tree and one little yellow flower, you're going to remember those three things. You can. And I don't know that we have time to go through it all in this little video. So if you want details of how to set up family laws, go to valuesparenting.com and just click on family laws. Or family legal system and you'll find it. And then you'll make your own. But get the kids involved. That's the important thing with the family legal system. Yeah, if you come down on them and say, oh, we have this great new idea. This is the way it's going to be, and this is going to be the consequences. If they're not Don't in on it. it, it doesn't work. Yeah. So good luck. Set up a family legal system and keep it simple. simple. Good luck.